Today is Jerusalem Day, and I'm standing here right outside Damascus Gate, right outside the old city of Jerusalem. And as you can see, there are thousands of Israelis here to celebrate Jerusalem Day, which for them, it has a lot of religious and political significance because it marks the day during the Six Day War when Jerusalem came under Israeli control as an undivided city, and Jews were able to go to the Western Wall again to pray. What's happened in recent years is that Jerusalem Day has been marked by tensions and provocations. And this year is no different. Last year, Jerusalem Day occurred during the Muslim month of Ramadan and ended with three rockets being fired by Hamas at Jerusalem and then uh, culminated in what happened to be an 11 day war between Israel and the Gaza Strip. Now this year leading up to Jerusalem Day again tensions have been high and as you can see right now as well there is a very heavy police presence throughout the whole city. We just walked through the old city and I can tell you that from Damascus Gate all through the Muslim quarter and into the Christian quarter all the shops are closed in what is normally a very bustling market area and residents are being kept behind barricades to allow the thousands of marchers through. They're coming from the center of Jerusalem through Damascus Gate to the Western Wall. There will be a bigger celebration tonight. In recent years, Jerusalem Day has been marked by fringe and growing groups uh, such as the Hilltop Youth and other elements of the religious Zionist movement in Israel, which also has a presence in the Knesset. As we have been walking through here, we're hearing, in addition to singing Am Israel Chai, which means the people of Israel live, are alive, they're also chanting death to Arabs. And there have been a couple of minor scuffles that we witnessed between some of uh, the Jewish marchers and the Arab residents. Hamas has threatened again this year that Jerusalem is a red line and if Israel crosses any of their lines, they're going to also again launch rockets. So far, nothing's been reported today, but we're hoping for a peaceful ending to today's festivities, but also in the days to come. I'm Nicole Jansizian reporting from Damascus Gate outside the Old City in Jerusalem for All Israel News.